St. Francis of Assisi presents Friars in Morocco. Could we do it by ourselves, Francis? You only have to follow your heart and the Lord will help you get to Morocco. So when we do get there, what exactly will happen to us? You will proclaim the gospel everywhere you go. I will always be with you, but the journey will be a long one. There is the coast of Portugal. This is as far as we go. From here on, we have to travel by foot to the capital, and we pray for God's help. Coimbra, the capital of Portugal. Look, brothers, the cathedral is over there. Oh my goodness, it's closed. We got here too late. It doesn't matter. We will wait here until tomorrow. May I know who you are? Did you spend the night here? We are a group of friars. We are only in transit. We are going to Morocco. What is your mission in Morocco? We hope to convince the Saracens to hear the words of Jesus. But you could also die, brothers. For me, it's a surprise to see you here in Portugal. You are the friars of Francis of Assisi. You come from Italy. And how do you know that? Another three like you have passed through here. It seems that your blessed father of Assisi has put in your heart the wish for martyrdom. Come inside and pray with us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. My Lord, we implore you that we may live as your children. Amen. These are the friars of Francis of Assisi. They come from Italy. We are grateful, and I'm sure we'll be just fine here. But we can only stay a few days because, as you know, we've taken a vow of obedience. This is your Mount of Olives. You will have all the time you need for prayer. Your donkey seems to be happy. Perhaps he likes the new house. I'm sure you will do God's will.
That's why I've decided to stop talking to him. What he did doesn't seem fair to me. The Lord Jesus says, Don't worry about your life or what you're going to eat, neither the way you're going to dress your body. Look to the birds of the sky. They do not sow or harvest. They know God will feed them. Therefore, brothers, don't be blinded by greed. Rather, follow the words of Christ, who is the salvation for all men on earth. We are planning to go to Morocco to announce these and all the words of our Lord. We ask all of you in this congregation to pray for us and glorify God with your lives. Well then, would you want to go to Morocco? But it won't be easy to find a boat that can take you up there, Bernard. Your Majesty, we are able to wait all the time that would be needed. I want to let you know that if you stay here, I will place at your service everything that you think you might need. I will build a church with a convent. I will give you everything Thank that you- Thank you, that's very kind of you. But until we leave, all we need is a quiet place to pray. Your great faith leaves me speechless. I'll do what you want, Friar. I care deeply for those friars, Yoraka. Will you permit me to help them the way they deserve? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're going to give all of that to? Who do you expect is going to use it? In the Chapel of the Two Olives, we're giving lodging to some friars of Francis of Assisi who go to Morocco. I'm taking this food to them. Yes, brother, I heard about that, but I thought they were going to fill up on things they wanted and found for themselves. They are children of God and friars. Don't you think we also have to do our part? I only know that this is merchandise you're taking and you will have to pay for it. Whatever you like, that means I'm going to have to pay for these supplies myself. for the friars they already left what do you mean they left where to to lisbon they told me that someone called francis appeared in their dreams and told them to hurry up then some strange lady came to help them help them what lady was that sanchia the king's sister she came here and brought them the horses they left at dawn but father i really doubt that you'd have much success trying to catch up with them at this point What can we do to make them understand? The love of Jesus is a universal language. Don't worry, calm down. I'm sure they will understand us. Yes, Peter is right. Jesus is our strength. Francis said that we will find the glory of our Lord in Morocco. All that is required is for us to maintain our faith in God. We will be getting off the boat in just a few moments, and you friars must get ready. And God help you, because you will need it. The Saracens are not known for their kindness. I hope that they don't cut off your heads before you can even get to pronounce a compassionate word, because that could very well happen to you, friars.
my lord? I want to see that sword immediately, blacksmith. My lord has good eyes. Please, won't you give alms to a poor cripple? Get out, you beggar! Thanks, my lord. These people are turning into a plague. I will give you 100 pieces of gold. Wait a moment. If you were a Christian, you would know how many poor men you could feed with 150, and you just threw that poor man aside. Oh, I imagine that you're that group of friars without brains that I've heard about. I'm surprised you're still alive. Yes, you're right. We are the friars of Assisi. But how is it that you knew we had arrived? It was Yuraka the Queen who told me. She wrote me a letter asking me to take care of you. I can't say no to her, but I advise you. I don't want any problems. Why are you bothering Don Pedro? Don't you have anything better to do? He's a very busy man. It doesn't matter, Blacksmith. What? These men are going with me to the fort. Well then, friars, why don't you sit down and eat something No, with Don me? Pedro, it's not right. We prefer to share the table with the poor, as it was taught to us by our lord. However you want it, but avoid creating me problems. That's why you have to stay in the fort. That way you will avoid being killed. Um. And what if we would reject your hospitality and decide to go out on our it's own? It's simple. I will put you on board the first boat to sail, and I'll send you back to Portugal. Then we don't have any choice. We must accept it. Well then, how long do you think we're going to have to stay here? We came to Morocco to proclaim the word of Jesus and to die as martyrs, not to remain enclosed in a fort. Isn't that true, brothers? You're right, Hutton. As a matter of fact, we're leaving right now. But how? God has already provided us a way to make our escape. Brothers, brothers, listen! We are here in the name of God, unique and compassionate, and we want to bring honor and praise to the sacred book of the Quran and its great prophet Muhammad. In the sacred book, Muhammad wrote the story of Abraham and Isaac. He wrote about Moses, about the great King David, and about Jesus of Nazareth, reputed by himself as a great prophet and his holy mother. We are here today to talk to you about Jesus, to bring you his word, the promise of the eternal life for those who follow him. Hold on, foreigners. Listen to me and answer my question. Your words don't seem to make sense, and you must explain yourself. Do you believe in Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth, or are you faithful to Islam, its prophet Muhammad, and the God known as Allah? We are faithful to the salvation of the one true God, announced and proclaimed by the holy word of his only son, Jesus of Nazareth. Well, then it's clear. The demons have invaded your brains. Come with me now, and we will talk to the Sultan. It's true. Muhammad is considered a prophet like Jesus of Nazareth, but you're claiming that Jesus is the Son of God. Quite right. I've heard them myself. Majesty, mm -hmm. I ask you to suspend judgment. These men are under my jurisdiction. If they have done anything wrong, it is up to me to judge them. They were preaching heresies to the people. Majesty, I request permission to talk to them. Hmm. Listen to me carefully, friars. The situation is dangerous. You must immediately say that you've made a mistake and denounce what you've said. It's the only way that you can get out of here alive. You can preach later. We can't do it, Don Pedro. Brother Francis didn't send us here to be concealed. He sent us here to preach the word. We appreciate your intervention and your help, but we will continue preaching, and it will be in front of everyone. Well, then I'm sorry, but if you insist, then I can't do anything else for you. These men haven't repented their heresies. I listened to them while they were talking to the people and I brought them to you. But I feel ashamed to repeat the words that they were saying. Ask them what they were saying and ask them what they would be shouting to the wind if we hadn't come along and stopped them. Now you must talk, please. The spirit can't hide the truth. We confess our faith in God and the Holy Trinity. They are Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All of you have heard them. 
These men affirm clearly and without being ashamed of it, their radical pagan faith. All of this is madness, and besides, it is blasphemy against Islam. Right. These men deserve to die. We only have one favor to ask of you. Oh, do you? Speak fast, friars. We would like you to allow us to die dressed in our friars' robes. All right, that's fine with me. Bernard, Peter, Adutio, Lucursio, Ota. Francis, is it you? Have you come to save us? You're already saved. Tomorrow you will be up in heaven. Could we do it by ourselves, Francis? You only have to follow your heart, and the Lord will help you get to Morocco. When we do get there, what will happen to us, Francis? You will proclaim the gospel everywhere you go. I will always be with you, but the journey will be a long one. I'll be waiting for you at dawn. Enough. Stop. Leave them alone. Who are you? And why are you bothering everyone? I am a Christian. I believe in the same God as the Friars. The only God. Ah, you're a Christian. Well, then, you will die with them. You'll keep each other company in hell. You must go now. It is us they want to kill. There's no reason for you to die, too. But I am also a Christian, and I am ready to share your fate, to defend my faith. Instead, you must live and keep spreading the gospel. This way you will defend our faith. Misere me Deus, secundum magnum, misericordiam tuam, et secundum multitudinem miserationum. Shut up! Shut, shut up! Do not blaspheme the holy name of Allah! <sighs> If your God is so powerful, where is he? I think they're crazy. But is there anything we can do to save them, Don Pedro? No, they are already lost, and that is what they want.
Peace and love, brothers. The Lord is with you. Peace and love to you, brother. You are welcome to our house. Let me introduce you to our brothers. This is Brother Diodato, and this is Brother Jeremias. We were cooking. We humbly offer you something to eat before you return to the city. Would you like that, brother? It is not my intention to go back. I want to stay and become a friar of St. Francis as the other five that were here before you. This will no doubt please us, but are you sure of your commitment to this path, my brother? Yes, I'm sure. It doesn't scare me. I want to serve the Lord proclaiming the word of the gospel in obedience and poverty, and also with the sacrifice of my life if needed. We must write a letter to Brother Francis and tell him about your request. Please know you're welcome to stay with us as long as you like. Now let's sit down and eat something. I'm very thankful, brothers. 